fiberscope.net. Today we're looking at our Snakescope Voyager, which is just a portable handheld industrial borescope. Um, you can use this for whole types of applications, pipe inspections, engine inspections, um, boreholes. It's a really good multi-purpose unit. Um, as you'll see, it comes in a hard plastic carrying case, so easy enough to transport and protect it. Inside you've got an HDMI output cable. You also have a memory card reader, um, since images and video are captured onto memory card power adapter, and then there is a screwdriver as well, which you'll see is just for the base. So as we take this out of the case, a couple things to notice. First of all, super lightweight, easy handheld unit. Uh, there is a wrist strap to make sure that you're not dropping it. Tip articulation is controlled by wires, not mechanical. So you've got really good movement, almost 180 degrees each way. And then with the joystick, it's really easy just to rotate it around. You can do it as fast or slow as you need, unlike electronic, which is sometimes harder to control fine movement. Um, nice thing about these units, there is a stand, so if you need to, you can just rest it on a table, do your inspection this way, control what you want to control. There are magnets in the stand as well, so you can put it onto something metallic and it'll hold it. And then also, the probes are removable. So, on the back plug here, you can unscrew this. And once this is done, um, you'll see that you can actually pop out the entire joystick control movement. So this whole section will come up. You can remove this probe, and that will allow you to use different diameter probes and also different length probes. So with one unit, you could have 6mm and 4mm options or longer options. Or if anything happens to your unit and it is damaged during use, you could have a backup probe just to make sure that you're not down for a long run time. Um, so right now we're just going to tighten this back up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do some online video. Okay, so once this is reconnected, as you'll see, turn on the power button, your screen will boot up, and then you'll also get the ability to control your LED lights. So you can turn your lights on, live images on the screen. As you can see, when we're going in here, you're getting a pretty good image quality of some welds. Um, basically, the camera unit's going to have 720p image quality, so you're getting pretty good image on there. Um, it is high definition, but it's not like super high end. Um, and then with your monitor unit, you've got your picture and video button. So there's a trigger on the back here. If you push this, you'll capture image quality onto the memory card, sorry, an image onto the memory card. Um, so just a simple trigger and then switch to video. When you start clicking that, you'll see that it starts time counting, which means that you're recording live video right now. Again, just hit the trigger to stop that, and you can switch back to picture mode. Um, your memory card is on the side here. So this unit uses a micro SD card, just fits in the side, and you can use the card reader to use that with a computer or laptop. There is also a PC connection, and then also that HDMI connection. So you can run to a computer if you need to take files off, or to an HDMI, to a high definition TV. Um, as well, you've got your menu settings. So there is a built-in zoom. Um, you can just use the buttons here to navigate through this menu as well. So there's a couple different options, including the PC option where you can connect to a computer. Um, and then yeah, you can just back out of here. And like I said, your image capture is right here, so it's pretty easy, to, or sorry, your power button is right here. So it's pretty easy just to turn this off and on. Um, yeah, simple operation, simple unit, but it's great for a wide range of applications.